Hello, this is Chris from Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Today is Thursday, October 27th, 2022, and behind me, newly arrived, is our brand new 2023 Grand Design Imagine XLE 21BHE Travel Trailer. We're gonna show on the outside, show the inside, see what you guys think. Nice and 70 degrees here in the building. A little chilly outside today, probably about 45 degrees, but it's not snowing, so we're very thankful for that. Here's our Grand Design XLS 21BHE. As you can see, it's got a huge LED lit power awning. Outside speakers there for blaring your Tom Petty at the campground. All aluminum frame walls, laminated fiberglass exterior. Heated and enclosed holding tanks on this. A little outside 110 fridge and a capital griddle there. Also gives you a Outside spray port, comes with a blue coil hose. You can add your own nozzle to it and spray this off if you want, or spray yourself off. Stabilizer jacks in all four corners. Uh, obviously, if you don't want to crank those down, you can gra grab your cordless drill and three quarter inch socket and zip it down in no time. Nice aluminum rims. Right out here, you're gonna have 110 outlets. TV antenna is wired right to here. In case you wanna put the TV out here, watch the Vikings, Packers or a team that actually wins. Maybe the Bills, maybe the Chiefs, or your favorite team. Nice fold up aluminum steps. Priceless fold away grab handle. It's this nice pass through storage all the way to the other side. This coach is about 4,900 pounds dry. So very half ton towable with a brake controller and weight distribution hitch. Power tongue jack, two 20 pound LP tanks. We can fill those here at Bullion RV and add a brand new deep cycle interstate deep cycle battery. We don't have any hidden fees. We don't play any games. We also include a complete orientation. Got a nice rock guard. Go over this side. Shoot down the side for you. Hookup center is going to be right here. Battery disconnect. Outside shower with hot and cold water. Cable and satellite hookup. More 110 plugs there. Here's the, to read your, uh, uh, this is for your, uh, your solar charger. As far as showing you the, what you've got as far as battery power, because there is a 165 watt solar panel on the roof. Had a little uh, brain fart there, sorry guys. And don't forget about the black tank flush right here. So we got sprayers inside that black tank. Don't have to stick a hose down the toilet. Just hook up that hose, open those valves down there where you dump, sprays it out for you. Spare tire, full walk-on roof, got the roof ladder. It is prepped for a few on backup camera. And we're gonna try to head up here without killing ourselves. Just bear with me. I'll show you. Right up there is that 165 watt solar panel. Just a built-in trickle, trickle charger for that battery we put on board. All right, we'll make our way back down. If you hear any screams, just dial 911. We'll go take a walk inside. So, one neat thing, right when you walk in the door, I'll show you this. So, here are my size 13s. There we go. Hide those shoes in there. Here's your dinette that would make down a little bed. Ducted air conditioning, ducted heat. Absolutely no carpet. And they give it a color to where if you don't sweep or clean, nobody's probably gonna know. But you can always put down throw rugs. There's your 12 volt refrigerator, about 10 cubic foot there. Microwave, overhead storage, and they're gonna have your radio in there that you can sync to your phone. Got your nice Furion oven with the windows so you can see what you're burning. Ball bearing drawer glides, full extension. Nice big stainless steel sink with a sprayer. If someone gets in your way, give them a little squirt. You can go right out the door. Back over this way. Overhead storage. What you can see here has a telescoping table. So you can put this at different levels depending on your leg length or how much room you want. Real neat idea. Got a nice big double bunks. 
Once again, an adult could sleep on there if need be. Plus you got hidden storage there. You can put totes, coolers. Heck, throw the kids under there if you want, if you have an extra one. Nice pantry next to the refrigerator. Into the bathroom. Nice big shower for this size of a trailer. Another stainless steel sink there. A little medicine cabinet. This is a porcelain toilet. It's a nice upgrade. More durable, easier to clean. Nice place for towels, washcloths. And the skylight, which again is priceless because I'll show you. So, I'm just over 6'2". I'm not coming with you, but as you can see, I got plenty of room to get clean in here. Plus that adds height, heat, and light. Plenty of area there to get dried off or changed if you want. It's kind of odd walking around on just one shoe. Feels kind of weird. I wouldn't recommend it. Not for an extended period of time anyway. So going back to the front. As you can see, there's a little curtain here that you can divide off the sleeping area if you'd like. Got a couch for during the day. So obviously without a slide, being eight feet wide, this is plenty of room in here. I mean, you're not gonna wanna spend days and days in here if it's raining. But you got a place to sit and eat if you got the kids or they can sit up there. But for just weekend trips when you're planning to spend a lot of time outside, it's nice and open in here. And we're inside, so you can't, you can't judge how nice it is with these windows, especially up there for the bunk too. Another one there. But yeah, just a nice little coach for the family if you're intending to spend a lot of time outside. Over here is going to be your TV. And this will, if I can get this to work, there we go with one hand, swing out, put it towards the bunk so the kids want to watch it. That back. So now we'll do this. So first, don't forget about the nice drawers underneath here for storage. This will fold over this way. Okay. Which in itself would make a little bed. Otherwise, take this. Try not to hit ourselves too bad. Pull that down. Got to walk around queen bed. And what's nice too, we've got his and her nightstands, uh, cell phone chargers, his and her reading lights. And if you pull that across, you can have a little privacy there. Lock you off from the kids or guests or whoever you have with you. And then two, look at that, more storage there. There are all your books. And there's another one right there as well. It's a lot of nice storage for a small trailer. And what's so nice about the Grand Design is that's that with the Imagine series, your aluminum frame, the fiberglass exterior is dent resistant, easier to clean, not very heavy. So even a mid-size SUV can pull something like this. Glad to have it. Once again, this is Chris Yost, AKA Camper Chris here at Bullion RV. For those of you who don't know where Duluth, Minnesota is, if you're looking at a map of the US, we're at the far western tip of Lake Superior, or about two and a half hours due, nor due, nor <laughs> due north of Minneapolis, St. Paul. I've been here over 20 years. We're family owned, like I said, no games. I'll do whatever I can do to earn your business. If you're interested, feel free to call or text me anytime, day or night at 218-393-1472. Stay safe, stay positive, and happy camping.